Today we are talking about whether investors should buy Tesla stock right now. In March of 2018, Elon Musk secured an unprecedented CEO compensation agreement with Tesla shareholders. At that time, Musk's electric car company had a market capitalization of approximately $50 billion. Musk, however, believed he could substantially increase this value and requested Tesla stockholders to approve a long-term compensation plan. According to this plan, if Musk succeeded in growing Tesla's market cap to $100 billion, he would receive free shares of Tesla stock as a reward. Further milestones included $150 billion for more shares, $200 billion for even more shares, and so on in $50 billion increments. The top potential reward was the receipt of 20.3 million shares of Tesla stock if the company's value reached $650 billion or more. Today, Tesla's market capitalization is closer to $550 billion. Despite this impressive growth, not all investors are pleased, particularly given that such figures seemed unattainable back in 2018. Earlier this year, a Delaware judge ruled in favor of one such investor, determining that the compensation plan should not have been approved, thereby denying Musk his financial reward. Tesla now aims to revise this outcome. Barclays analyst Dan Levy, in a recent research note, outlined the matters slated for a vote at Tesla's annual general meeting on June the 13th. The primary issue for shareholders is whether to retroactively reapprove the compensation plan originally approved in 2018. This reapproval would aim to rectify any defects in the initial approval process, such as incorporating additional disclosures and including an independent director's opinion on the fairness of the compensation plan to address the judge's concerns. It is uncertain if this vote will entirely overturn the judge's ruling, but its significance lies in its potential impact on Tesla's future, Musk's continued involvement with the company and the company's stock price. Elon Musk seeks to secure at least a 25% personal voting interest in Tesla, ensuring substantial influence over the company's direction. If the compensation plan is enacted as initially intended, Musk will achieve a 21% stake in the company, placing him close to his target and likely ensuring his continued leadership. Conversely, if denied the promised shares, Musk's ownership stake would drop to 9%, significantly reducing his incentive to remain with Tesla. This could lead him to resign and focus on his other ventures, such as SpaceX, The Boring Company, Neuralink, and Twitter, now known as X. Notably, major Tesla stakeholders such as Leo Koguan and the California Public Employee Retirement System have indicated they will vote against ratifying the compensation plan. Additionally, proxy vote advisors like Glass Lewis and Institutional Shareholder Services have recommended similar no votes to their corporate clients. Musk and his brother Kimball, who collectively own 13% of Tesla shares, will be unable to vote, which makes the rejection of the compensation plan a significant possibility. Dan Levy believes that shareholders will ultimately re-approve Musk's compensation plan and thereby restoring stability. However, he cautions that the risk leans heavily towards the downside if the plan is rejected. A wrong decision by shareholders could result in a rapid decline in Tesla's stock value. In summary, Levy rates Tesla stock with an equal weight rating and his price target of $180 suggests the shares will remain range-bound. The consensus rating for Tesla stock does not inspire much confidence, with 9 buys, 14 holds, and 9 sells, leading to an average price target of $174.60, indicating a slight overvaluation. While I am personally a huge fan of Tesla and believe it has the potential to become the most valuable company in the world, I recommend conducting thorough research before making any investment decisions. With that being said, I wish you the best of luck, happy investing, and I will see you in the next video.